Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a stripe pattern. If you aren't familiar with the pattern tool in Illustrator, I have another video that shows you step by step on how to use that. It's going to help you out during this video. Alright, so I have some steps laid out here. The first one is create a rectangle. So I'm going to come over here to my shapes tool and it should already be preset to um, the rectangle tool. So all I have to do is click on it. The next thing I'm going to do is come over here to my artboard and I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to create a rectangle. So depending on the width of your stripes that you want, you're going to adjust your rectangle. And the length of your rectangle can be any size. It doesn't really matter. Um, because in the pattern tool, it you'll see it. it'll get adjusted to just long lines. Alright, so I have my rectangle made. The next step is to make sure that your rectangle is selected. And we're going to go to step 3, which is Object Pattern Make. So I'm going to come up here to Objects. Then I'm going to scroll down to Pattern. And then I'm going to go ahead to Make. That's going to bring you to a new menu. You'll see your stripe is just this big block right now. So we're going to edit it to make it a stripe pattern. So what we're going to do is come on over here to the Pattern Tile tool and I'm going to click on it and that's going to make the blue box around my rectangle resizable. So it's super important to remember not to resize the top and the bottom of my rectangle. All I want to do is change the middle of the blue box around my image. So I'm going to come over here and pull on one of the little white boxes. And when I release, it's going to show you your stripe pattern. So you're going to adjust the size until you like the way your pattern is being spaced out. And when you're happy with that, you're going to go ahead and click done. Remember, if you click cancel, that's not going to save any of your progress in this window. So you want to make sure that you're clicking done. Alright, so it's going to bring you back to your original window, and what you're going to do is make another shape. And I'm going to come over here to my swatches where my pattern was saved. I'm going to make sure I click on it, and that's going to reveal how my pattern looks in a shape. Now, if you don't want your pattern to be just vertical, you want it to be on an angle, what you can do is come over here to Object come down to transform and then click rotate. Now I already had it set up at an angle you originally would have it just set at zero so what you can do is play around with the angle by moving this little bar here inside of the circle and that's going to rotate your pattern now make sure that transform objects is not selected. If you have it selected, then your pattern is going to move in the same shape that you had it. So what you want to do is make sure that this is unselected so that your pattern is only moving and the shape is staying still. All right, when you're happy with the angle that you have your pattern at, go ahead and click OK. And that is going to be how you make a straight pattern, guys. If you want more inspiration on patterns, go ahead and check out my Instagram at Alley Art Patterns. You can also check out my other videos on any other Illustrator how-to um, instructions. So, all right, that's it. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.